What up everyone, it's Zal here, and we are going to be making my very first YouTube video. Now as you can see from the screen, we are going to be playing Dofus, and I'm sure you all know what Dofus is since you are looking at this uh, video. But, we are going to be doing a Let's Play of Dofus, and it's going to be pretty awesome. Oh, this looks cool. So, I've played Dofus before. I have I used to play it for a really long time. I played it for six or so years, I would say, but I had to quit um, for a while for, like, real-life issues and stuff. But uh, I decided I want to get back into it, and I wanted to share my experience with uh, all of you. So, just to explain what I'm doing, we're actually going to have four different characters, and I've already picked out all four. Uh, like I said, since I haven't played in a while... I don't know what any of these characters are. Um, I haven't played any of these characters. Uh, actually, I have played Masquerader and I have played Foggernaut, but this Hupper Mage and this Eliotrope, uh, I have never played them before, so I figured we would make a fun little team of four of the newer characters. And uh, I think it's going to be pretty fun. I've already kind of got a team set up. I know that the Foggernaut here is going to be my main healer. Um, and then these three guys are all, from what I've seen, map manipulation. Uh, the Hupper Mage is going to be Strength. Eliotrope is going to be Agility. And Masquerader is going to be Chance. Uh, so it should be pretty fun. So right now all I want to do is I want to uh, create my characters. And... I really don't know. I think I want to go with gold and white. I, th I don't think I know I do. So I just have to figure out what I like. I really like that. So, ooh, that is ugly. I think I want that one to be white. That's hair. I like that the way it is. Let's see if I can get a good gold color. No, that is ugly. How about... Oh... I don't know what to do. I want a gold, but I'm not going to be able to get a good gold. I want a shiny gold like that. This is not going to be good. Oh, oh, God. Ooh, this will be pretty looking. I want this to be that. I want white. And we'll go with white here. What are my others? That I know I want it to be a lighter. Oh, that's not what I wanted. This I want to be lighter. This... How about like a gray? A white and gray? No, we'll keep this white and then we will turn this gray. I think that'll look good. And it doesn't really... But, I mean, I'm not too worried about it. So I think that's what we're going to go with for her. Uh, pretty ugly, but I don't mind. This girl here, she has got a lot of different color options. I think we'll go gray. I want to keep the same typical colors, so we'll go with that. We'll make that white. And honestly, I'm completely okay with that. So we'll go with this. Oh wow, Masquerader. Um, definitely want this to be that lighter color. I want white mask for sure and then a grayer body um that looks pretty good but i think with the hair i would i would want to go matching just realized over here i didn't uh oh she looks evil i don't like evil that's creepy looking um that's actually kind of adorable i think we're gonna go with that Definitely going to go with that. Let's see. Whoa. Crazy hairdo here. Oh, my. I like the mohawk, though. I think a less evil-looking mohawk. That's pretty good. And then for the Eliotrope. These are some... He look. Whoa. That's pretty cool. All right. So we're going to go with the same concept. This is going to be like a lighter... This will be white. Um... And then this will be gray. So let's actually let's let's make this a gray. See how that looks. 
make that a gray, make this a white. And that doesn't look too bad. I, I like that. That's pretty nice. Let's see what kind of masks we've got here. These are all pretty weird masks, actually. Let's see. That one... I think we're just going to go with that one. Now for the fun part, though. <laughs> and I don't know what we're going to do with that, but we are going to pick out names. So I was thinking I'll just do random... Well, no, I could do... I could do some Zals, since, you know, new name, Amzal. Always change it later if need be. Preferably not, but, you know, we can. So we'll do, like, uh, that's a girl, so we'll go with Zala, um, Zalafi, Zalafni, Zalafni. Sure, why not? Zellar and Zalan. How about that? Let's see if any of these work. So that one is already being used. So what about Zalus? There we go. That one's good. There's no way this is being used. No, yeah, told you. Zalar. Oh look. Um, now I do just I do want to give you a warning. Um. Oh, this is cool. I wish I had sound right now, but we're going to watch this real quick. Six dragon eggs, symbols of power and givers of hope. Until one terrible day when they were stolen. Now the harmony is broken. The elements and monsters have been unleashed. I don't think it's this, uh, this messed up in Dofus. The time has come. Your destiny has brought you to Incarnum. Has it? Discover the world. Find precious allies. I've got three right here. Total of four. Discover the world. Find the Dofus. Become a hero and become part of the legend. That is a cool little intro. Um, now what I was about to say is I do want to warn you. Um, I have played, the, like I said, I have played this before. So I've got a couple characters and that means I will be getting two times and three times XP on some of these characters. So, for at least the beginning, I will be, uh, whoa, oh yeah, because I bought the subscriptions. I will be, um, leveling up a lot faster than normal. So, I think with just one of these characters, I will go through this with you because this is completely new to me. So, equip that. Oh, and he is pointing at me, telling me to go this way. And, oh, I have to start a fight. Alright, I can do this. You want me to move around? I remember that. It looks a little bit different, but I remember doing this. Alright, so, why? Okay. Tectonic wave. 11. And then, so, apparently, from what I read they get like debuffs if you use different elements on this guy so that was pretty interesting this guy this girl actually is going to be pretty interesting to use we'll see how it goes um but i did just level up so awesome i th think this character is at times three i actually don't know how to check um but i'm pretty sure she's times three um, did I just, I didn't just level up again, I don't think. Alright, so I remember that, remember this too, the Lupus Minimus, so. Oh, I just got my hat. Too bad you can't equip it while you're in a, f preparing for a fight, unless that changed too. I guess that could change too. Alrighty. And simple little fights. Let's use this. I don't know what runification does. Wow, easy peasy, talk, follow, Joris. So I think I'm in full set now, even though this set sucks. If you're going to be a hero, it is best to have divine power behind you before going any further. How about the God's favor? You will create a sacred object that will add some spice to your adventures. Climb the stairs and speak to Master Adewok. He is waiting for you in the professions hall. This is new. I do not know this. 
Uh, for anyone watching this, let me know when they added this in the comment section, please, because I have no idea. Greetings, young soul. I'm here to teach you the basics of professions. The greatest heroes are often great artisans, too. There is no finer blade than the one forged by your own hands. There are many professions that will allow you to show off your skill, but I suppose we have to start somewhere, so why not craft an idol? Um, I think I do know what idols are. I don't remember if I read about them or if they were in the game when I played. I don't think I ever played with them. Whoa, I'm doing all this without an axe? Without a scythe? Without a pick? Is this just... There's no way. This is probably just for the, uh... For the tutorial. I'm sure I'm actually gonna need this stuff later in game when I'm actually doing resources or uh, resource gathering and stuff it's gotta be there's no way oh craft an idol I do not remember this okay combine okay I got an achievement oh I leveled up mad skills head towards the exits how do I equip it um oh like this yeah Total experience bonus, 16%. Loot bonus, 7%. Nice! Enemies get minus, or plus one MP, I read that. Joris, you are very gifted, Zalus. The idol you crafted is perfect. To test the power, we need a training session. I've notified Master Tarms. He's waiting for you in the combat room. Climb the stairs and show the gods what you can do. Head over to the arch of the combat room. Hope I said that right. You must be Zalus, right? I've been waiting for you. Remember that the gods are watching us. They invented idols to test their loyal subjects' courage. The power within these little st statuettes can be trans can transform a minor skirmish into epic of all battles. An adventurer who fights using an idol will find it harder to defeat enemies, but it will result in a victory. Or, but if it results in a victory, the rewards will be equal to the challenge faced. We'll see about that. Start by defeating the Celestial Tremors with your weapon and spells without using an idol. This will show me if you're strong enough to face an enemy in the more difficult conditions. Well, I've already equipped the idol, so we're going to do it with the idol. Because, you know, we're just awesome. So, Ooh, I got a new spell. Flamethrower. What's this going to do? Wop pow Wop pow Alright, so I know nothing about these spells yet. I'll have to do some research on it. But for now, the simple tutorial, I can just uh, get through this. So, okay. This guy has a lot more HP and does a lot more damage. Oh, I probably shouldn't have. What does that do? Do I have a... No, no. What does runification do? A little bit of damage that did like nothing interesting oh my god he's kicking my ass oh but fights over victory i'm about to level up again all right let's do this wait for my injuries to hear heal all right one more time let's what is this guy called celestial tigramus interesting name it's a runaway um but like i was saying i have played this game before i have three or four characters in like the 190s and they are on the server uh but i don't plan on using any of them and i don't plan on using any items or um money from them i've actually moved everything all of my items on all of the accounts onto just one character and I'm going to stay away from using that character. Uh, well, the bank account of that character. Um, just because I want a completely fresh start, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Do I have to attack two of them now? Dang, I do. Alright, so let's do this. Um, Alright, so, but I just want to walk you through kind of my plan for how these... Uh, how the videos are going to be released and stuff like that. Um, right now I only plan on releasing one video a week, um, that'll be when I get a little bit later in the game, when it's more grindy, but, uh, 
for right now, there'll probably be multiple videos uploaded in one week just because uh, there's so much to do at lower levels. But like I said, when it gets more grindy, I'll probably just give you guys weekly updates. Uh, try and keep it within like 30 minutes every video, I'd say. But who knows, if I have more content um, from every week, look at that I won, then I may just... Um, head towards the exit, then I may upload more than once a week, but like I said, I don't think that's going to happen. In the beginning, I'll definitely be uploading a couple of times a week, just because everything moves very fast in the beginning. Uh, but you'll see, and I'll let you know, so you don't have to worry about that. All the answers. I probably should have read that, but I didn't. What is this thing? Oh, Dofuses. Dofusai. Or is it Dofuses? I don't even know. Toward the way of souls. Oh, look at that. We are outside now. I'll accept that. So yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and do that for the rest of the three characters. Uh, probably put that in a time lapse and let you see that. Uh, so yeah, let's get to it.
right, and we are back. I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. And I think the next thing that we're going to do is just go through the skills and kind of look at the characters. So, uh, like I said, I know that I want my Fogonaut to be intelligence because she's going to be doing all of the healing in our group. So, we will go ahead and start with that. Basically, that just means we want to bump all of our points into intelligence, so... Oh, that is new. That is cool that it does that. I like that. That is badass. Alright, so we'll go ahead and confirm that. Like I said, I know we want her to be intelligent. And... I don't think we're going to be using Harpooner too much, at least not in the beginning. Um, when do we get Lifesaver? We get Lifesaver at 17. Uh, so we will put our points into Pilfer for now, because like I said, she's fire, so pretty easy to understand. No oh, way, what? No way. You cannot just do it as you please. That is, that is a lie. There's no way. What? No. Alright, I need you guys to tell me. Can you really just increase or decrease? Whenever you want, there's no longer... You can't... I, I'm literally speechless right now. You can just change your stuff whenever you want. There's nothing stopped... Oh, maybe that's just from... Uh, maybe that's just from while you're in Incarnum. I bet you that's it. Uh, but in the comments, tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm right. I'm, I'm very curious about that. I don't think we're going to get to the uh, outside of Incarnum for this for this uh, video. Alright, so he's done though, or she's done. Masquerader is Chance. Uh, I heard that's the best man map manipulation and does a lot of damage because of this with the pushback, so we'll go Chance on him. Obviously late game you normally split up your character into two, sometimes even three different characteristics, but uh, early game you just pick one, right? So Chance for him. And from what I believe, we don't, yeah, we don't get a chance move to level 31. Um, I don't even think... Oh, that does do water. Um, but we'll be putting in the Coward Classic. Tortuga's good. But I don't think we need to put our points into anything right now, so we won't do that. Alright, so let's look at Zalin and what we decided. Oh. I'm trying to remember what I uh, decided for these characters. I'm actually not sure. Let's pull up my Excel sheet and find out. Good thing I've got it on my handy dandy laptop. So, let us see. Looks like our Elia trope is agility. Alright, so go over to our Elia trope, and like I just said, he's agility. So let's bump up the agility for that. 15 into agility. Confirm. And then we do have an agility spell right there, so that is nice. Bump that up also. Close that. And you know what that means our last character it's gonna take me a while to get used to this let's be honest but uh our last character our hopper mage is strength and we've actually got a strength move right here so let's bump that up go over to our characteristics and then up it 15 confirm so as you can tell now we have got Zales, our hover mage, is going to be strength. Zalifni, our Fogonaut, intelligence, heals. Masquerader, chance, Zalar. And finally, Zalin, our Iliotrope, is agility. So, agility, chance, intelligence, and strength. But that's where I'm going to stop today's video. 
Over the next video, I'm going to work on completing a lot of the achievements and the, a lot of the trophies over here. Well, achievements and the quests. I want to really do all of Incarnum before I leave, so that's what you can expect. If you like this video, then leave a like. Leave a comment for me, let me know what I can improve on. But other than that, have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you next time.